we're in section 10.2 and I'm on page 273 we're going to do the U try it you see the Euler circle up there um, it's helpful it's kind of going to illustrate some of the things that we're going to be working through in this problem uh, so the first step which I've already done is it says uh, open the file first order consequence one All right so that's this one and it says we're given a collection of premises there they are right there four plus a series of sentences that follow logically from them that's one two three four five six here and what we're supposed to do is cite support sentences and specify one of the consequence rules remember there are three to justify each step and the challenge here the trick is that you must use the weakest consequence mechanism possible and cite the minimal number of support sentences possible all right so remember weakest to strongest goes first order consequence then analytic consequence then tautological consequence all right so that's what we're going to be looking at. So number two, it's going to walk us through one so that we know what we're doing. Focus on the first step after the Fitch bar. Let's go down there, putting my red arrow down there. And remember, how do we read this? Uh, we read it as if everything is a cube, then B is a cube. Remember the scope of the quantifier. It's just over the antecedent in this case. So if everything is a cube, then B is a cube. And it says, uh, you will, we will recognize this as a logical truth, which means that you shouldn't have to cite any support sentences, sorry, cite any premises in support of this step. So first, ask yourself whether the sentence is a, tot is a tautology. No, it's not. So tautological consequence will not check out. Is it a first order validity though? Yes, it is. So change the rule to first order consequence and see if it checks out. Let's go down here. Our rule, our rule that we're going to be going for is first order consequence. And let's see if this checks out. It does. Remember these glasses are kind of helpful. So it uh, blocks out the actual words that are going on there so you can see the form. If everything is something, well, then an object that we pick out is something. All right, that's a first order consequence. So we can get rid of that. Um, and remember the color needs to be consistent there. We'll see that along the way as well. Um, so it says it would also check out using an analytic consequence, but this rule is stronger than necessary, so our answer would be kind of wrong if we use this mechanism. Let's just try that, All right? Using a consequence, and uh, let's see, it checks out, of course, because it's stronger, but it's not going to be able to prove what we want to prove. So let's go back. This is, again, first order consequence. All right, let's go down to the next one. Uh, the rest, we're on our own, so let's see if we can figure it out. This is saying there's not a dodec. Okay, so what is relevant here? Well, there's a dodec sentence up here. It has to do with something small, and this does as well. So we can recognize this up here, right? It's saying if there's a dodec, then something's small. Something is a dodec, then something is small. And this is saying there's not something that's small. So from that, we know there's not a dodec. So let's, supply, let's cite these two support sentences. And again, it's a first order consequence there. And let's see if we are right on this. Yes, we are. Good. All right, so there's not a dodec. And this is basically, let's just use the goggles again so that we get the idea. We have there is something like that then there's something like that well there's not something like that so there's not something like that and hopefully we recognize that form by now okay let's go down here and this is just saying again there's not a dodec all right um all we need to do here is cite this because it's just saying the same thing this is also first order consequence right here let's check that make sure it checks out so this is just saying the same thing as the previous line it's just using a different variable that's all Okay, number eight here, and what's this saying? Everything that's not large is not a cube. All right, and we can just recognize this as the contraposition of number three up here, right? So this says all cubes are large, and this one says if everything is not large, sorry, all things that are not large are not cubes. Let's see if this checks out. First order consequence again. Oh, I didn't cite. All right, let's cite. Okay. There you go. Because on its own, it's not a first order consequence. We need that up there. So this 
in that first order consequence. Okay, good. And we can use the glasses again just to, right, this is just contraposition inside that. Okay, next one, this is saying if there is not something small, then there's not something that's a dode. And again, this looks like what we just did uh, as far as contraposition, just applied number one. So let's see if that works out. First order consequence right here. Yes, and site, let me check, yep, checks out. Good, okay, last one, number 10. This is just saying C is, uh, yeah, C is not a cube. All right, now what are we gonna look at here? Well, something that has to do with a cube. So let's see uh, if everything is a cube, then B is a cube, we don't want that. How about all cubes are large? Let's just see if we can cite that. And then uh, C is medium. So if all cubes are large and C is medium, we know that C is not a cube, right? And how do we, so let's cite that. How do we know that? Well, it's not in virtue of the form Right, because let's try this. Let's try first order consequent and do the glasses again. If everything is something else and C is something else else, then C is not that. Right. So there you have you have different um, statements right here, and they're represented by the different colors. And so it's not true in virtue of the form. So this is going to say, nope, that is not legit. But it is an, let's go, analytic consequence there. Let's see if that checks out. Again, we've already cited the two support sentences there. Let's see if they check out. And the goals are good to go. So that's just a little bit of practice on first order consequence, analytic consequence, and we didn't deal with tautological consequence, but you get the idea that there that's even stronger.